In 2018, Honda sold 5.3 million cars worldwide. Last year, 3.8 million. This year, they're on track to sell maybe 3.4 million if they're lucky. That would mean that Honda, its sales have fallen by 2 million in the space of only a few years. As a result, it's shutting down factories all over the world. Now, when I say all over the world, I literally mean all over the world. Japan, Thailand, China, the UK, the list is actually pretty damn extensive. Guys, when I first saw this story, Honda is closing down more car factories. I actually thought, well, you know what? Is this legit? I Googled this story. It turns out it is legit. But here's the thing, get this. Google, Honda shut down factories, right? Comes up. Number one, Honda stops two factories in China due to falling demand. Ah, another, another listing here from 2022. Honda to close mother factory as it moves to EVs. Yeah, well, Honda hasn't moved to EVs, so it just closed its so-called mother factory. That was in Japan. Honda extends car plant shutdown in 2023. Why is Honda closing its main production plant in Japan? Mid-2022, shutdown of Honda plant due to Brexit ports delays. In the UK, 2021, Honda to stop producing engines at their new plant. That factory is shut down. Yeah. Google it, see what comes up. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Would love to see you at the Melbourne EV Show. The Melbourne Electric SUV Show, there's gonna be ex-pung vehicles there, all these different models that you can't see anywhere else unless you fly to China, which is a pain in the ass, trust me. It's good, but it's still a bit of a pain. So yeah, actually, on that note, guys, you can go to China much more easily now. You don't have to get a visa now in the old school way. You can actually get a visa when you arrive in China, as long as you're not a journalist. So don't tell them I'm a journalist. Anyhow. What's happened here with Honda? All right, Honda, they um, apparently are closing another factory in China. Now, if you actually have a look at Honda's uh, book value, their so-called book value or Toyota's so-called book value, all these plants that are being shut down, they're part of the book value. Now, basically people are saying, oh no, no, these factories are worth billions of dollars. So that's why Honda and Toyota, they're worth billions and billions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars because They've got these factories that are amazing, right? Well, here's the thing. If it was really true that these factories are so valuable, Honda wouldn't be doing this. Right? Shutting down their mega factory in Japan, shutting down factories in the UK, shutting down factories in China. They wouldn't be doing this. They'd simply just convert that factory to make EVs. If that was logical, right? If these so-called mega assets were in fact assets at all, that's what they'd do, right? You'd think so. So what's going on with Honda? Well, apparently because of falling demand, they're closing down a factory, another factory in China and an additional factory. Well, Honda doesn't know what to do with that one. So they're just, they're not gonna sell it or close it down completely. They're just stopping work there. Um, yeah, so two factories actually uh, being shut down in China. Honda will close a plant operated through its joint venture with Chinese state-owned automaker, Guangzhou Automobile Group or GAC. Now GAC make very good electric cars, not for Honda, but for everyone, for themselves. GAC, Aeon, right? Aeon is one of the fastest growing electric car brands in the world. They sell nearly 50,000 EVs a month in China, the GAC brand. But Honda, you would think, right, has a good name. Honda in China used to have a good name. People would just buy Hondas because they were Hondas, not because of any other compelling reason. Well, as you can see, not the case anymore. Honda will close this plant. Um, apparently, uh, that's gonna happen in October. The automaker has made the Accord, the Honda Accord sedan at the plant, which was opened nearly 20 years ago and has an annual production capacity of around 50,000 vehicles. Honda will pause production at another factory in China that operates through a separate business with Dongfeng, who make EVs as well, by the way. Anyhow, they say that site has a production capacity of 250,000. So essentially they are shutting down production of 300,000 cars per year. Honda wants to optimize its output in China with the changes it's saying, and it adds that it faces very tough conditions in the Chinese auto market, which is the largest auto market in the world. So Honda's telling you, yeah, um, this is the beginning of the end in China. And if you don't think it is for Honda, um, have a look at Mitsubishi, have a look at Jeep, what happened to them in China. 
the company's annual production capacity in China will shrink to 1.2 million vehicles from 1.5 million. But there's no way in hell that Honda is even going to sell 1.2 million vehicles in China this year. So I'm not exactly sure what other factory they'll shut down. I'm sure they'll shut down another factory as well. Honda plans to bring up the number of vehicles um, that it's selling to 1.45 million by beginning production of EVs at two other plants. They're building with joint ventures with GAC and Dongfeng. So these factories are just being essentially abandoned. They're going to build new factories to manufacture EVs. So here's my point. I've said this many times on the channel. I don't know why it's legal for these companies to say on their book value, we own these factories worth billions of dollars when they just walk away and abandon them. I mean, look at what Toyota sold the factory in Fremont to Tesla for. It was for, it was for peanuts. Look at what Hyundai or Hyundai just sold their mega factory in China for. It was for a, a tiny fraction of the cost that it was for them to manufacture that factory. And they actually sold that only five years after they built it. So that gives you an idea, guys, that these ridiculous book values are just utterly nonsensical because these factories are not worth anywhere near what legacy automakers are saying they're worth. Chinese automakers, obviously, are getting rid of the competition. And BYD's plan is to do that. BYD's willing to sell vehicles at whatever price to, make, to manufacture much better vehicles in the competition. Look at BYD's hybrid technology. I mean, it's that good that Toyota's saying, we're going to use it in 2026, and it's 2024 today. So basically, Toyota is saying, we won't be able to make a better hybrid in 2026, you know, in two years from now, than what BYD is making in 2024. If you're Honda, if you're Nissan, how do you compete with that? I mean, Nissan and Honda, uh, Mazda, they're in big trouble, and particularly because China has been so important to them, but that's obviously changed completely. Now guys, only a few weeks ago, Honda also announced it's shutting down one of its other large car factories, which is in Thailand. Apparently it will um, consolidate output. Anyway, there's no other way to put this guys. Now, Honda is also just shuttering another, another very large car factory in Thailand. This move shows the very tough conditions, says uh, Nikkei, a Japanese publication, that, J that basically these legacy automakers in Japan are facing in the Southeast Asian area as Chinese brands are aggressively selling EVs there. I mean, guys, I just got a, a, a message today, a Facebook message from someone who watches the channel. He lives in Thailand. He sent me a message, Nita just revealed a, a new car they're selling in Thailand for $14,000. $14,000. In other words, these Chinese car companies, they're going to manufacture EVs in Thailand. They're already starting to do it. Many of them are already doing it. And they're going to sell cars much cheaper than what the Japanese can could have ever dream of doing. Uh, Japan does rely on the Southeast Asian market. It's a lot of it's a massive car market. Indonesia combined with you know the Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, all these countries, Singapore. That's a big car market, even Australia. But they're losing this and the Chinese are being very aggressive in these areas because these areas, there are no big taxes like what Europe and the US has put on Chinese automakers. So these are the places where China is going after first. And realistically, to be honest, China doesn't sell that many cars yet in Thailand and Honda is already shutting down one of its factories. How long until you know, Toyota and Nissan also have to shut down factories in Thailand? Honda plans to produce car parts at... Um, Another plant, um, basically, they're going to consolidate. They're going to, yeah. Anyway, Honda has seen the combined production at its plants fall from 230,000 vehicles in 2020 to about 140,000 a year um, as of last year. But this year, those figures will be even lower. The automaker has been exporting cars from Thailand, mainly to other Southeast Asian markets, such as Indonesia, the Philippines, Australia, etc. But Honda plans to make additional investments centered on its uh, one of its other plants. It's going to try to basically convert that plant into a factory that makes hybrids. In China, Honda and rival Japanese automaker Nissan have been hit especially hard, says Nikkei by competition from rising Chinese brands, which have attracted 
customers with low priced software loaded EVs and quality plug-in hybrids. Japanese automakers are facing a huge risk of losing customers in markets outside of China, such as those in Southeast Asia, to upstart Chinese brands that are increasingly looking to step up car exports and setting up factories overseas. So whilst Honda shuts down factories in China and Thailand, BYD opens new ones in those locations. BYD opened a plant for battery powered cars in Thailand that is part of a wave of investment worth more than $1.5 billion from Chinese EV makers that are establishing factories in the country. As you can see, there's nothing these manufacturers can do. Guys, I've received a lot of comments from people saying, what are the things I'm saying about Honda, about Nissan, about Mazda are ridiculous, are hyperbole. But if the Nikkei is saying this, guys, if Japanese media publications are saying this, Am I being sensational or is this simply telling you exactly what's going on? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.